Imagine for me a mystical world with no buttons, an iPhone with no buttons. Now picture a bongo. What? What am I even doing? Uh, okay, so story numero uno, I guess we have a leak. I think this coming from Shrimp Apple Pro. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one is weird. Shrimp tweeted out this pile of confusion the other day. Uh, it says, and I quote, iPhone with no physical button, project code name, Bongo. <laughs> What? So naturally, as you can expect, everyone who saw this tweet was very confused. Even our own resident giant lanky seven foot monster of a human, Sam Cole, asked with very good English, great job, Sam, what this mean? Uh, in a reply, Shrimp just said, it's next after the sim tray. Okay then, alrighty. So you know me, couldn't help myself. I looked into this and yes, actually, it is a real thing. In fact, there were previous rumors of the iPhone 13 not having any physical buttons. Don't don't know how we missed that. Obviously, the iPhone 13 uh, did have buttons. So the difference with this one is that it is Shrimp saying it. And Shrimp has an incredible track record. So future iPhone meaning what? Uh, is Bongo iPhone 15, iPhone 16? iPhone never gonna happen, we don't know. I guess at some point after Tim Cook finishes his crusade against sim trays, he's going to kill the volume and lock buttons on the iPhone. That is certainly something, but why? How, what, what was wrong with the buttons? Why do we, why do we need to get rid of, don't you think we're taking this a little bit too far now, okay? Didn't you think this is a little bit much? To be fair, getting rid of the home button worked out pretty well for Apple. And I mean, I'm sure we could figure out the lock button situation. I gotta be honest though, if this is real, if this is a real plan by Apple, if a future iPhone is coming that's gonna push capacitive, swipey up and down volume keys on the side of my iPhone, I just can't. I cannot, I'm done. I refuse. Back to Blackberry I go with a gun and a bullet. Jesus Christ. Brian, you can't, you can't write stuff like that. Do you think it's called Project Bongo because the iPhone is flat? And like, boom, bap, bap. Somebody save me. Okay, moving on. What if you want to do post office things, but not in the post office? That's why this episode is sponsored by Stamps.com. Stamps gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services right from your own computer. It saves you a trip, it saves you time, and it saves you money. We're talking up to 86% discounts on typical USPS and UPS rates. Whether you're an office sending out invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. Stop overpaying and stop leaving your house. Sign up today at Stamps.com FPT and get a four-week free trial, free postage, and a free digital scale. And of course, a huge thanks to Stamps for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> Okay, phew, uh, we got through that whole thing. Story numero lasto, luckily for us, is completely normal and has nothing to do with bongos, right? Yes, right. Per a reporto from IT Home, Apple is said to already be scaling back production of the iPhone 14 base models, though it doesn't specify if this is just the small iPhone 14 or also the Sam Cole-sized iPhone 14 Plus. IT Home's report also says that the production lines previously used for iPhone 14 are now being converted into iPhone 14 Pro lines. Looks like Apple is finally trying to get those redonkulous four to five week shipping delays down, cause good lord! That is quite the shipping delay, my son. So, yeah, let me go ahead and be the first one to say, uh, duh, this is not a surprising thing to happen. If you, as Apple, have ordered 1100 iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pluses before pre-orders, but then suddenly everyone buys the pros instead of the basic bitch ones, of course you're gonna be like, actually, let me get more of the other one, please. Can we? Yeah, the, that one, please. Like I have already said, at least, this many times, these are still early sales numbers. And again, no one is getting hype about the normal iPhone. If anything, this story should just be, Apple probably made a bit too many iPhone 14s and not enough pros, and also probably shouldn't have made the stupid thing look exactly like last year's model. There, headline, but still, 
Just you wait. Grandmas are going to be going out and buying these things like it's the flu shot and they're afraid of dying at bingo night. That was... That was dark. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have hired Brian.